Hello Year 7, for today's lesson, Sequences 3, we are going to be looking at how you can create or generate a sequence from an algebraic rule. The algebraic rule normally uses the letter N and is sometimes called the nth term. Now one of the benefits of using algebra to create a rule is that you can work out um, some of the numbers in the sequence quite easily. For example, if I said to you, what is the um, the hundredth term in the sequence 7, 9, 11, 13, 15? That would take you quite a long time to perhaps work out. Well, what we'll see today with algebra is it is actually a lot easier. So do make sure you've copied down today's title. Do make sure you've copied down today's objective. And we will go through four examples of this work together and then I'm going to set you some very very similar questions. So I've written so far to create a sequence using algebra we substitute n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3 into the rule. Okay now we met the idea of substitution when we did some work on algebra and substitution is where you swap the letter for the number. You need to make sure that you understand what the algebra means and I'll talk through that in each of the first of these four examples. But it's quite simple. If I want the first term in the sequence, I substitute n is 1. If I want the second term in the sequence, I substitute n is 2. If I wanted the tenth term, yes, I would substitute n is 10 and so on. So let's see how this works. Let's look at my first example, which is 3n. Now we know in algebra, 3n means n times 3, or 3 times n. So if I want the first term in this sequence, I'm substituting n is 1. So I need to do 3 times n, or 3 times 1. So that one is just 3. That would be my first term. If I want the second term, I'm substituting n is 2. So I need to do 3 times 2. 3 times 2 being 6. If I want the third term, yes, you've guessed it. I have to substitute n is 3. So my rule is 3n, so it's 3 times 3. That is 9. And this pattern carries on. Um, so I'm going to substitute n is 4, but sometimes when you've done the first few terms, you can quite often start to see the pattern, start to see what the sequence is doing. And I'm sure some of you have spotted, yeah, this sequence is going up in 3s. So I need to do 3 times n, 3 times 4 is 12. And yes, the next number after that would be 15. Okay, that would be when n equals 5. Now, I said earlier, the, the great thing about um, algebra is you can work, re work out some other terms in this sequence without having to write out the whole sequence. If I wanted the 10th term, I would substitute n is 10. I would do 3 times 10, and it would be 30. So the 10th term in this sequence would be 30. And a way that I can write that is I could say that t10, term number 10, equals 30. Okay? So that is my first sequence done. I've substituted 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to get the first five terms. I'm now going to do the same with my other three sequences. Okay, I'm not going to write n is 1, n is 2, n is 3, n is 4, n is 5 above each of these because I've lined it up in a way that I hope you'll see what we're going to be substituting in. So for my next sequence, I've got this rule n plus 2. So when I want the first term, I'm going to substitute n is 1. So I need to do 1 add 2, which is 3. 
Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, is this one the three times table as well? It starts on three. Well, let's see. The next term is when n is two. I've got to do two add two. So this next one is two add two, which is four. Ah, uh, it's not the same sequence. Third term when n is three. Three add two. That's five. And I'm sure you can see that this sequence is going up in ones. Okay. Fifth term, five add two does equal seven. So again, if I wanted the tenth term, I would substitute the number ten into my rule. I would do 10 add 2. And 10 add 2 would make this 10th term 12. Okay, let's look at my third rule. I'm starting to get a little bit more complicated with my algebra on this one. But as long as we understand what it means, we will be fine when we substitute in. It is 5n take away 1. Well, 5n means I am multiplying by 5. So I'm going to do 5 times my number, but then I need to take away 1. So 5 times my number when n is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Take away 1 is 4. Let's do it for the second term when n is 2. 5 times my number is 10. Take away 1 is 9. Third number, 5 times 3, 15. Take away 1, 14. Fourth number when n is 4, 5 times 4, 20. Take away 1, 19. And again, we can see a pattern in this sequence. This sequence is going up in fives. So I know the next number straight away must be 24. But I could still check that. 5 times 5, 25. Take away 1, 24. Let's look at that tenth term again. T10. So the tenth term, I do 5 times 10. Take away 1, 50. Take away 1, 49. So the algebraic rule can get these term numbers without having to write out the whole sequence. If I wanted the hundredth term, 5 times 100, 500. Take away 1, 499. Okay, so it's super quick. Right, I'm just going to leave this one here for a moment. And I want you to pause the video here and see if you can do this one yourself. Can you figure out the sequence? So, pause it now. Right, you should have had time to work out the sequence. I'm now going to quickly go through it. Um, you should have done 3 times 1 is 3. Add 6 is 9. For the second term, 3 times 2 is 6. Add 6 is 12. Third term, 3 times 3 is 9. Add 6 is 15. And this sequence is going up in threes. If anyone was clever and did the tenth term, it'd be 3 times 10, which is 30. Add 6 is 36. Okay, I hope you followed that year seven. There will be some questions, so do make sure you now go back and have a look at the further instructions. Take care, everyone, and goodbye.